While riding in the back seat of the car, less than a year old, Michael started pointing out the window. His father Jeff couldn't work out the sounds he was saying and repeating. There was a McDonald sign. Michael was saying nursery rhyme of old McDonald had a farm in baby talk. His first words were not daddy or mummy. His very first word was a brand. So what makes a brand successful? When the Industrial Revolution took place in 1760 to 1830, brands were essentially unknown. When Henry Nestle, Dr. William Kellogg, Thomas Lipton, and Henry John Hines needed to distinguish their products from those of others, they used their surnames to create brands. Over the centuries, wars have destroyed companies but also making others hugely successful. Brand names are the language of the world. It has witnessed the world events and will adapt in centuries to come. Let us trace the fascinating history in Business, the extraordinary history of some of the world's greatest inventors, entrepreneurs, companies, and brands. Written by Australian designer, inventor, and author Jeff Stewart. Available at Amazon.com. It's nothing personal. It's just business.